Guys, uh, the writing was on the wall, and boy, did we get confirmation uh, pretty fast on this one. Microsoft making a huge announcement with regards to Montreal and its research lab. They're going to be moving, you know, they're up the street there at 2,000 McGill College. They're going to be moving to Mile X with a beautiful new building, and it's big enough to house a lot more employees. Take a look at uh, some renderings here. Microsoft, really excited about this. They've Do we released... know what streets yet? Yes, it's no? going to be on Marconi. On Marconi oh, yeah. in the Mile X. They are moving to the Mile X. Here is uh, one artist rendering of what the new facility is going to look like, what the new building is going to look like. Here's another one here, beautiful Microsoft logo. There's one mistake uh, on here. You see two gents in business suits. Uh, they're in the Mile X. I I've just gone into the Photoshop here. That's there. <laughs> There's hipsters instead. Don't be jealous. That's, that's what it should look of like. Their, of their youth, Elias. Current oh. rendering. Uh, and their and ironic their, uh, yeah. mustaches. Proper, proper rendering. Anyways, let's go. Good choices, uh, and, and, by the way. This is what the building looks like right now, by the way. This is a uh, 6795 Marconi. I know you're watch watching me at home and say, Elias, it's a Google we're talking about Microsoft we're using Google Maps. Where, where, where is your decency? Ooh. I agree. Let's go to Bing. That's what it is. That's what Bing shows us. There it is. <laughs> There's the old building there on Bing Maps. Uh, Who uses Bing? And use Bing and uh, support the folks at Microsoft. Uh, listen, also crowing about this, Montreal International. This is big for them. Montreal is becoming, an, it has become an AI hub, whether it's Facebook or Google and Microsoft. They're all focusing in Canada right here in Montreal. This is good news for the city. Now, why is it happening here? Uh, let's just bring this up again. We'll go to the Seattle Times because, you know, Microsoft uh, headquartered in Redmond, Washington. Uh, you know, they expanded last week. They made that big announcement, right, that they're going to expand in Toronto at the same time. This is so we can support Vancouver and Montreal. Now, why is Canada doing so well in this kind of thing? Well, it has to do, it really has to do, and we heard this again in the Seattle Times uh, earlier this year, that Trump's immigration policies may force Microsoft into expanding outside of the United States. Uh, I'm going to go to Investopedia now. I want to bring this up here. Uh, three charts that I showed last week. I'll show them again. Uh, this is from Investopedia. Uh, F1 student visas in the States. Down. These are the kinds of student visas of people that want to study and technology and that kind of stuff in the States. Those are down. What does that lead to? Businesses planning to hire less international uh, students. And then here's the Canadian figures. What are we doing? We're increasing the number of visas for computer Their brain drain fields. is good for us. It is, yeah, it is so absolutely. good for us. And let's just look to the top of the food chain at Microsoft. The CEO of the company, uh, Satya Nadella, who's done a brilliant job since he took over. Yeah. I mean, you know, Steve Ballmer leaving, this guy taking over, it's been such a good thing for the company. This guy's from India. Came to the States in 1990 to study. Now he's CEO of Microsoft. These are the kinds of people the U.S. is trying to block. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and if uh, Montreal is going to benefit out there in the Mile X, I, for one, am ecstatic about it. Mm. Yeah, agreed. Making 100%. America great again, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll leave yeah. that one there. All right.